what's going on everybody welcome back it's your boy calypso bringing you a video about why it's good to always dip your corals why i say that because you never know it doesn't matter who you get it from it doesn't matter if they the most popular vendor out there of corals and they got the most amazing colorful pieces you never know what those corals could bring in your tank and one pets can multiply to a thousand to a million pets inside your tank and they can wipe out the whole thing just one coral that you bring and you don't dip it you know and you don't put it through quarantine you take the risk of wiping your whole tank so this here is the setup i always do when i get a coral and of course you got to go to the process dip them i use sea chem dip I like that one. It's been working with me so far. A pipette to blow the corals around. This, because I want to show you guys what I found one of the corals. A light. This is one of those headset lights that you use when you go um, hiking in caves and stuff like that. I don't know if that, or explore a cave. Let's say it better like that. And my frag plugs and stuff like that that I use to clean the corals. Or if I'm going to frag them. And here... Is the best tool I love, especially when you cutting zoas and anything leather. Um, I just did that to a coral. I broke it in pieces, just um, separating two corals that were together, and bloop, this cut them nice and clean. And also, you could use them to puncture, puncture the bag where uh, wherever you get the coral, boom, and open the bag. They work good. And this, you know, if you're gonna frag them, so you could cut them. But anyway, I'm not going to try to talk too much about other things and let get down to business. So a friend of mine was putting down his tank and he asked me if I wanted some corals that he had in there. So I went and grabbed, I think it was like um, three pieces. One, I split it in half just so I can um, frag it. it. Well, I did that to two of them. I fragged them and then another piece, I think it was a Monty. It came with two saws or three saws attached to it. I also fracked that too. But when I put them in a the bag, they came with a bonus. And the bonus are these little suckers. I never had this problem before in the past. Like every time I get a coral, I always try to get it from somebody that I trust. And I always do a quick dip. I don't go crazy with the dips. And so far... So good, but this time, without me dipping the coral from the bag, I started seeing things that wasn't supposed to be in it. So let's take a look so you guys can see. And look at those little suckers right there. That's a nudie brink, a Zoa nudie brink. That's one. It's another one right here. And that bubble algae. And also, like you guys can see, I found some bubble algae in the coral. And one of the saws in a Bermuda snail. So always, whenever you get a coral, inspect them. I go different different measures to, you know, make sure the corals are healthy, and I don't put nothing in the tank. Meaning, so uh, you guys can see, I got this light here. I got a light right here. This is my little table where I always check for the corals. But I got this light just to make it brighter. Sorry if I blind you with it. You got two settings, one higher, one low. And I also, you could call me a geek, call me whatever, but I better be safe than sorry. And I love my reef tank, so I also got this magnifying glasses here. They use for electronics. So I also use these things whenever I want to get a closer look to the coral. Make sure nothing left crawling in it. <clears throat> so, like I say, always better be safe than sorry. I just found these two suckers in there. And, you know, like, it, it could have been a, a, a devastation in my zoos. And, I don't, like, I don't know. I've never been through it, and I don't want to go through it. So, as soon as I saw this, I was going to dip him anyway because I didn't trust the way he was taking care of his tank. That's why he put it down. So, I always, you know, once I saw that in the bag, I said, uh-uh, these got to go through dip. 
So let me let me show you guys so you guys can see this because maybe with the lens you guys can see it better. Just so you guys can take a quick look at it. Let me turn on this light. Let me put it a little bit lower. But look at look at those. Look at those. I'll try to zoom in. If I can. Nope. I cannot zoom in with um YouTube app, but that's one Nodi brand right there, and that's the other one on there and the algae. So I got lucky. Like I say, I got lucky this time that I got those two. I make sure I brush them off in case they, they left eggs behind. I did what I could. So I just got to keep my fingers crossed that nothing was left on them. That's not going to wipe out my tank since I don't have a quarantine tank right now for the corals. It just, you know, dip them and put them in the main display. So all those corals went to the tank upstairs. So we just got to keep now our fingers crossed and and hope that I dip them the right way. So it was this was a quick video, guys. So please don't forget, hit that subscribe button. So you, hit that bell so you get notified. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up. All right? So I'll see you guys in the next one. Calizo Reef out. Hasta la próxima. See ya.